Hello, my people. This is Sony Life. We'll be discussing today about how to manage stress, what you call stress. Stress, in a very simple definition, is when your expectation is far away from reality. This is what we call existential truth. Existential reality is this. But your expectation is here. The further it goes, the more stressful you become. If it far, now so the stress will be like, it will kill you. So the best thing is just come and try to be with the existence. And there's no more stress. Let me make it, keep it, let me make it simple. There is one, uh, a yogic monk that says, he says, don't need anything. Accept everything. The wisdom in that saying is like this. Existential reality is what is in front of you. Do whatever you want. It will not change. Now, instead of you to align yourself to that thing, you want that thing to change. It is impossible. Like, for example, controlling someone or controlling people. There are a lot of people that want people to change. I want this person to, I want this person. No. You change so that you can fit in with whoever comes your way. Something that you cannot change. There's nothing you can do about it. Whatever you can change, that is good. Do whatever you can to change it. Maybe innovation, science, technology, whatever. It's under your control. You can change that. But what you can't change, you can't change. So where's the stress? Let me just bring one small example small so that I may understand this thing. I have some people that they stay in a Rio. They are student. In go just sit down. They imagine how he's supposed to work for this kind of company, this kind of company, this kind of company. Which is fine. I tell and say, but I think you want to survive. He say yes. I say, but money do you now? He say yes. He say do mechanical engineering. I say okay. This is where you sit down. They work out from church to church for prayer point. They look for. How you go go work for that company, that company, that company. If work no day uncle, people don't fool the place right now. They don't employ people finish. The vacancy no day uncle. Why can't you start something? And say nothing there for you. I tell and say, just sit down and look at you. You did mechanical engineering. Cars no plenty for this you. You say cars plenty. Pick one thing and repair. I discussed with him a little bit, and he went and started repairing uh, Radiator, uh, not radiator, sorry, uh, alternator. The electrical alternator, kickstarter, all those small, small things, foil pump. The guy started to see, when he started early, it was a problem. The guy started to see 20k a day, 15k a day. If he bad, 6k. At the end of the month, income calculator is even more than the salary where the company will be on work with for pay. And he has more time. You see, his expectation was far away from the existential reality. Existential reality, we say, in the Uyo, pay attention to Uyo, identify a problem, fix it. That's how you make money. Identify a problem, become the solution, deploy your solution, people pay, pay you. Now you sit down for Uyo, they like this, they work out, they do prayer point from church to church. Say, ah, the world has left you, why well, you can't get a job. There is no work for everybody. Automation is advancing in rap in the kind pace where we will not catch up. Now skill you can't survive. He has been in that state of looking for a job for almost two years. He don't stress finish the worry himself until we sat and discuss. So I brought him back from his expectation to the existential reality of being in New York. He don't on him, okay. I want to survive. That is all there is. What can you do? Or enhance your capacity to do something. Deploy the solution and make money. So you are coming in sync with what is in front of you. Stress finish. Apply it even to relationship. Anything. What is in front of you? Function. Don't sit down and hallucinate what you think it should be. That is what is stress. Your expectation is far away from reality. Bring your expectation down. What is in front of you? You want to survive. Finish. Now girls, oh, now they trick me. 
You there for one village, you want to marry Don Jassy. Is it possible? You go to the trip for them, they fall down. God, this is my kind of husband. But you there village, men, they are that level. They are doing okay. You don't want to marry because you get fun for her. So your mind is you're supposed to marry a person where they for banana island. So you have your existential reality is this is where you are, this is where you are. You know, the right is people where they're there, you don't want them. Okay, no problem. It is your choice, it is your choice. It is your choice means you use your imagination and create your own problem and stay in the problem. Then you think that God has left you. No. You are in your community. The one that is closest to you and is fast for it to manifest is the one where they're around you. What's wrong? Why can't you get someone when I build on our life together so when I can be, when I feel grow, come become whatever you want to be? Why should you sit down here and think that you want someone who doesn't know you at all? But you are hallucinating thinking that that is the person you would love to marry and it has to be that person. God must give you that person. So your expectation is far away from you. the reality. You have to bring back your expectation back to the existential reality and there's no more stress. Like I said, Stress is when your expectation is far away from existential reality. This is reality, what is in front of you. All you need to do is identify that thing and function according to what's in the in front of you. Well, so I don't get stress. I know they get nobody for this world go tell you say you get stress. Have you talk hala? I'm not stressed. I know they get BP. I'm not I don't get anxiety, all those things. And besides, I did in engineering with Saguru. So I understand how the body works. I understand how emotion works. I understand how my imagination works. I know how to use them. I know how to live them. My life is very simple. What is in front of me, I function accordingly. I don't hallucinate. I don't use my imagination to hallucinate. The best way to stop stress is to be in sync with what is the existential reality in front of you. That is the best way to stop stress. Then all you need to do is Adapt yourself, make yourself adapt to the reality and function. Simple as that. Especially if it is something you cannot change. If it's something that you can change, fine. If you cannot, you adapt. Your duty is to function so that you'll be able to survive. Anyway, if you don't have any other comments or any other uh, way, the way in which you can always stay without stress, please comment so that we can learn from it. Me, I'm stress free. Stress free, nothing like stress, nothing like BP, no anxiety, nothing. I know they worry. I will only think and imagine something based on existential facts and work accordingly. I don't hallucinate because I have an understanding of how the mind works. I understand how the memory works, my memory, which is the information I have, and how to use my imagination only to create and think. I don't use it to worry or hallucinate. Memory is the data that I have. I use it and process. So they don't disturb me at all. If I sit down, I sit down. If I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. If I'm walking, I'm walking. I don't get stressed at all. I don't get stressed. Because I spend time to learn to do inner engineering by saying with Saguru. I understand how the mind works, how the imagination works, how this body works. I am inside it. I will exit it. So all these things like a tool in my hand. So you just learn how to use it. Simple. And I'm fine. Like I just I'm just this is the tips on the easiest and the simplest way. On how to live your life, JJ Lee, you know, be in sync with existential reality. What is in front of you is the best way to go, man. This is only life. We'll be bringing more of these insights, you know, so that we can help each other, man. Cheers, guys, and one love.